Hello everyone, uh, today we'll learn how to and uh, set up and run a WASM based smart contract. Um, for those who are not aware, uh, WASM uh, VM is something that we run on top of the on, on, on top of a um, IC, the ICP sandbox APIs, and uh, we can uh, we can in fact run other VMs as well, like say an Ethereum virtual machine and so on. Um, what Wasm VM provides us is that we can write a smart contract in any language, compile it, and then run it on top of Wasm VM uh, with just a few commands, and we'll see how to do that as well. For this exercise uh, today, we can uh, uh, we'll, we'll go through uh, running a Wasm smart contract, which is which can either be based on Rust or Golang. Uh, for this exercise, we'll go with a Rust-based smart contract. Um, however, a Go-based smart contract will work will work as well um, as well as other other languages which might be supported at a, at a later given point in time so for that uh, we, you obviously need to have an existing wasp node running and uh, a wasp chain deployed on top of it we can verify by going to this chains in the in the wasp uh, dashboard and uh, we can go to the uh, we can open the chain which is which for us is called dev chain or dev test uh, chain we can verify you know which contracts are currently deployed on this and uh, how much uh, assets are there, how much total blocks are there, and so on, the committee size, quorum, and so on. Right, once we have that, let's go inside. And uh, so we have uh, some smart contracts already, already written over here. We obviously need to have a, a new smart contract that you would want to write. Uh, we'll learn how to generate a new smart contract later, but for now, just have any existing smart contracts. Um, for this exercise, let's go with a fair relate smart contract. We also have a front end ready for that as, as part of the demo. So this will be a bit easy to follow right now. Right, once you have this, uh, you know, all you need to do is, so this, this is the entire folder of this, uh, of the smart contract. Uh, if you want to look at all of the structure, this, this should be, this should be it. There will be a lot of other files that is not required at this point. Um, but what we need to do is we need to go inside source and for this and now you'll see that there are the smart contracts over here which is written which we need to now compile into wasm to do that we'll use something called as wasm pack and we'll say build you need to have wasm pack installed um, there's a simple command to do that um, um, with with rust obviously and uh, it's a simple command that will install wasm pack uh, based on whichever os you have you know um, this will also do that i use this mostly uh, this is uh, pretty much universal uh, if it is uh, if you have a unix system uh, if you have a windows system then obviously you know um, follow the appropriate guide once you reach that stage just run wasm pack build this will build uh, this will essentially compile the entire thing and we'll put it into somewhere called uh, the package folder. So let's go back uh, and we have a package folder. Let's see what's inside the package folder. We have something called as .wasm file. This is the one that is generated right now. And this is something that we will be now deploying on to any, um, that, 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 that we'll next uh, deploy on the watch chain. So to do that, um, let's go back to our, say the, project uh, root you don't need to be there if you have installed you know a uh, universal uh, wasp cli but since we have uh, deployed in there we'll have to also all right um, okay so this is not what we need right now um, yeah you will need wasm time of course uh, so you have to install wasm time um, as well and uh, let's see we would want to uh, install the fair roulette and we will call it a fair roulette as well if you want to rename it at this stage uh, you can you're most welcome to do that and we have fair roulette and then it was inside our package directory and we have another fair roulette pg dot wasm right so this should essentially uh, deploy our contract on the wasm on the on the wasp node uh sorry on the wasp uh, uh, on the wasp network and uh on the other chain that that we would have here 
um, so the the default chain um, so let's try to see if this works and it says that it is uploaded and that it's still pending uh, there's a hash of it and supposedly it's uh, should be deployed now let's see let's refresh this and uh, we have a fair relate uh, contract here deployed so if you look at it it will say that you know okay this is something that just got this is got deployed here so that's about it and uh, if we want to interact with the smart contract obviously we can uh, you know do that uh, from the terminal as well uh, however if you want to interact with uh, some, some other place you can obviously use the uh, http apis so let's try to just try to interact a little bit and uh, so this was for a different smart contract obviously but encounter uh, you can obviously try that as well let's just uh, and there's a function called place bet inside the smart contract in fact let me just show that um, All right, and uh, if we look at uh, contract.rs, we can see that there will be something called as place bet. Um, this will be defined somewhere else. Um, this will be defined in the constants. So, right, it should be defined here. So the function place bet is what will be, um, is, is what we want to interact with right now. And it takes, a uh, string number and we'll pass as let's say two what should what this should do is this will uh, allow us to place a bet uh, on the number two once you do that it's trying to post it uh, using the wasp host and the and the and the wasp chain on which we have deployed and uh, it should return us with just a success message all right this is done and that's how you interact with a smart contract uh, from your cli and you can deploy a wasm based smart contract the same can be done for a co-based smart contract but which we'll cover at a later point in time thank you so much